Hey guys, my name is Evan Morse and welcome to the Aureli location for Pride Marine Group. Now we are standing in their indoor heated showroom. They currently have 16 boats in the showroom right now, which is fantastic. But today we're gonna to focus on one and that is the 2022 Sea Ray SPX 190. Now, just a quick couple specifications on the boat. The overall length of this boat is 19 feet, six inches. The overall beam is eight feet, four inches. So it gives you an overall seating capacity for 10 people, which is fantastic. You can have your family, your friends, your dogs, whatever you'd like inside the boat. Now today, what we're gonna do, we're gonna start at the stern of the boat. We're gonna work our way to the bow, but we're gonna go over a couple features, some materials that they use, and some packages that you can get on this boat. So let's go check that out, okay? Hey guys, we were at the transom of the SPX 190. So as you see, we have an amazing uh, material that Sea Ray uses in all of their boat products, and that is the Sea Deck flooring. So this is a fantastic um, material for the back end of the boat. Now you can opt out and get nothing. We always suggest you do get this. It's great for the kids, it's a durable material. It's very easy to clean. So you have the Sea Deck flooring. You also have a toe point here, stainless steel toe point. Now this is for any water sports that you guys may want to do. You could do tubing behind the boat. You can do knee boarding. There is also a toe point at the top of the tower here. So you can use that for any sort of wakeboarding or skiing behind the boat. It's just a more optimal thing if you have more experienced wakeboarders or skiers who want to get a little bit more air um, or want to perform more complex tricks. But as we kind of carry through here, we do have the four point step ladder, which is great. It gives you a lot of length when you uh, deploy it out of the boat. So if you have kids or if you have uh, adults, the ease of access into the boat is fantastic. So you do have that here as well too. You do have a 12 volt charger. Now this is for any sort of inflatable toys you may be taking out. So tubes or anything, you can do that from the boat and don't have to do it on shore. Just a lot more easier for people, a lot more accessible. Now, probably the best feature on the back of this boat is the walkthrough transom. Now, Sea Ray offers this on all of their boats. It's super functional and super practical. So when you're entering or leaving the boat, it makes it far easier. So you're not doing any complicated um, hurdles over any sort of um, seats or cushions. It's already pre-existing here in the transom, so it makes it far easier. And it does provide you with a little bit more storage too. So we do have a storage compartment here. I can open that up. This has two batteries in the boat. That is an option. You can opt out for one. This one does come with two. This does provide you with a little bit more storage as well. And they do lock up nicely with these standard cam latches that Sea Ray offers. So I can carry myself through into the boat here, into the cockpit, where we can go through a couple more really good features that the boat has to offer. All right, guys, so we are in the helm of the SPX 190 now. The floor I'm currently standing on is the Infinity Material. So this is a woven product that Sea Ray offers. It's a clipping material, so you can pull it out, clean it if you need to, which is fantastic. And they also offer the Sea uh, Ray Sea Deck in here as well too. So moving over to the captain's side, um, we do have a fully adjustable uh, captain's chair here, which is great. You've got a dial at the bottom that allows you to swivel the chair if you need to and also maneuver it back and forth. So you can really get into the proper position that you need when you're operating the vessel. Uh, the center console here, you have the Fusion audio system, which comes standard on the SPX 190. Um, you have your gauge set up in front of you. Now you can opt for a 5-inch SIMRAD screen. Now that would be included in between your tachometer and your vessel information system as well too. But we do have the, uh, the three um, dials here for you guys. Now there is a depth finder. You do have your accessory switches on the side. And then on the right, you have your bilge pump. Um, your horn, uh, and your blower as well too. So all your information and options in front of you is very accessible and easy to, uh, easy to operate. So moving on to the port side, uh, the current position that we have on our port side passenger seat is a front facing position. Now this is totally adjustable. So if you'd like to adjust it, you just fold this portion up. There is now another seat underneath that you just flip around and slide in. And now you have a bench setup. So like I said before, this is a 10 uh, passenger vessel. So you can have this bench seat. This will allow you to have two people on this side and then accompanied with the bench seat at the rear of the boat. You've got enough room to fit those people. So um, a couple of great features there. Now you also have your um, glove box here. It's vinyl coated, which is nice. You can store all your phones or wallets, belongings in there if you need to. Um, and then you also have a com storage compartment here uh, in the head of the vessel. So you can open this up. This can be used for your ropes, your, uh, your ropes, life jackets, bumpers, or anything else you want to throw in here. So that's another great storage system. And then also, below the floor in here, if you unclip 
the flooring. You can also have more storage units down here for any more, again, like I said, your ropes, your um, life jackets, or your bumpers. So tons of storage space uh, in the cockpit of the boat. So uh, if you do have multiple people on here, you can store whatever you'd like. So let's move to the front of the boat and check that out. All right, guys, we're in the bow of the SPX. Now, first things first, you can opt and get the bow filler cushion for the front of the boat. Uh, that'll give you a little bit more space, kind of create this area into a sun lounge. So if you are at uh, anchor or at the dock, you can kind of lounge up here, which makes it a really nice space to chill out in. Uh, you do have storage beneath the seats, nice and easy to lift up, store whatever you like, all your belongings, your ropes, your life jackets, your bumpers, whatever you prefer. You do have the stainless steel grab rails, which are really nice. And then the Fusion audio system speakers on both sides. So you get great sound quality wherever you are on the boat. Um, I am 6'1". Now, when I do sit down in one of these seats, I got tons of room and I'm super comfortable. So it's, uh, if you got multiple people up here, it'll be great. You'll be nice and comfy along the ride. Um, last thing up here, we do have the windshield. Now what's great about this is when I go to open the windshield, it clips right in to a stainless steel bracket. So it's not gonna move anywhere while you're operating the vessel, nor is it on a rubber bumper where it can be um, shifting around when you guys are operating the, uh, the boat. So nice and easy to take out. There's a release there and it folds right back into place and you can lock it on the opposite side. So that's the bow of the boat. We can now move uh, to the back to finish up the video. All right, so here we are on the transom of the SPX 190. Uh, we're gonna wrap up the video, but before we go um, with this uh, SPX that we have in the showroom, it came with the four and a half liter, 200 horsepower Mer Cruiser. Uh, fantastic engine for uh, all the water sports uh, or just cruising on the lake that you wanna do with this boat. So. Thank you guys for tuning in today. Uh, it's been great. Happy to show you around the 2022 Sea Ray SPX 190. Hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, we'll be back soon.